Popsit here. Thanks for checking out my channel. Make sure to check out Mr. Popsit Live and Mr. Popsit Fishing. Two other channels. It helps the whole brand grow. I appreciate the support. Thanks for popping by. Okay guys, Mr. Popsit here. This is my patient and now I consider my friend, I would even say. <laughs> we get close. Uh, but we've been getting these steatocystoma multiplex here. I've already marked her and numbed her. And you can see she's had some in the past, quite big scars. And some of the ones that we've done, very little. Um, this was inflammation, but if you come over here, you can see that patch we did right there. Let me get my light on that a little bit. There we go. And you can see this little cluster, little tiny pigment spots, but not much of a big white wide scar because we're making very small holes and that's been helpful in minimizing her scars going forward. So we're gonna uh, just give us a second here and we're gonna start and squeeze these out. Okay, so we have here, you can see how they really pooch out. Little poke. And once you hit them, it's just butter. That's why they call them butter cysts. And they are actually very slippery too. <laughs> I have to constantly wipe here because it makes, makes the gloves slippery. But you can see how sometimes you don't see much there even. Um, as far as like this one doesn't look that big, but when we pull, it's down deeper. Once we pierce that pocket, we get all that fluid out, and then that bump goes away. That is good. I like to come in a different angle. See, if you come at different angles, you'll get that last little bit commonly, just like that. Sorry if that hurts a little. <laughs> and that gets the bottom. And a lot of people, you know, this is our sixth round. They'll say, why aren't you getting the sack out? We talk about it each time, but if you're seeing this for the first time, you do not always have to remove the sack. Um, if you can easily, I, I do recommend it, but if people scar and mocha skin tones can scar pretty bad. So if they do scar, I don't know how the hair, you can see a big cluster of hairs right in there. It's kind of all clustered up, but that was a lot of hair and there are all kinds of vellus hairs clumped together. They're clear, but you could see them rolled up there. Well, they also call them kind of Bella's hair cysts sometimes because they'll see that together. And we're just going to come from the bottom, get that last bit. Very good. Got it. So as I was saying, when we've got somebody with hundreds, I like to minimize the scars as much as we can. You see they don't even really bleed um, hardly at all. So that looks great. Keep going. It's a deep one as well. See all the hairs? I don't know if you can see that in the yellow. Those are all strands of hair. There's probably 20 or 30 in there. That's pretty amazing. There's real small, vellus small hairs there. Good to get them out. Hairs are better on the outside, <laughs> not the inside. Not too painful. It's okay. Good, good. You like to get in there and just squeeze from two different, three different angles. And it looks like we got it. Very good. Okay, and we're gonna move over here. Okay, so these are some big ones. Um, this one's from last time, might be some scar tissue there or two or three in a row, we're gonna see. This one should be no problem. There we go, not as much fluid, a little bit more dry. People ask why is that, that it's they're more creamy sometimes, a little off-white, more yellow or fluid. You never know. Sometimes the older ones will be a little thicker, but they can all kind of have different consistencies. No rhyme or reason. That's good. This one, we're gonna try two pokes, but let's see if we get anything. I'm gonna give you a little shot on the top and bottom here just to make just a little bit of scar tissue in there, I know. Right here. Any pain, just nod. Let me know. Yeah, this is like scar. I didn't feel much fluid when I was holding these. 
That's, that's what I thought. It's kind of like scarred up. There's a little cluster of them in there, likely smaller ones, and that's some scar. We may inject that with Kinolog at some point and it'll soften that up. Yeah, we'll probably get a Band-Aid for those too, because that scar sometimes bleeds. You can see how easy that bleeds. So we'll get a Band-Aid on that if you want. Okay, we're back. Um, we're gonna go right up the side here on the flank. These all should pop fairly easily there. Let's get this on while we got the blade. Go. And we'll come from every angle here. Go. Okay. Moving right along, coming up the side here. We got several. This one is a mover. I can feel it trying to go the other way there. Got it. That's good. Some of these ones on the side bleed a little more too. I've noticed that. Okay. Got it. That was a small one though. Might need a band-aid on that one too. There we go. Back in action, we're just stopping some of the small bleeders there. There we go. Getting on our way to clearance. Okay. And it doesn't take a ton of lidocaine. We just do it right at the surface here. And this is not a super deep, oh, that, that one is squiggly. Trying to move on me. There we go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Went over your shoulder or no, got you? <laughs> oh man. That was a popper. Oh goodness. That had a lot of pressure. Go wet. Do you want to go wet? Yeah. Dried off and back. Right here. We'll poke. There we go. That's good. And one right here. That one's got a little pressure probably too. Very nice. These are all very large steatocystomas. Um, I mean, even your smaller ones are bigger than most that we see. So, and a couple of patients I've had in the past, some of your, <laughs> the ones we just did, which are like, you know, 80% smaller than your biggest ones are still bigger than some of the patients I've done recently. So that's good there. We squeeze from each angle to get that last bit out. Okay. And I think that's good. That's everything we marked all the way across there. That looks great. And the bleeders will mostly stop there. So, Okay, guys. That's round number six um, in of the Sierra System and Multiplex. And we're kind of doing, you know... 16 to 25 each time. I don't like to do a whole lot more than that because it's a lot of sore spots to deal with and try and sleep with. But I appreciate her sharing her story because it's going to be a long story, but it's going to be neat to see the transition, how the scars heal and how the bumps go down and the smoothness to the skin. Um, so I think she's going to be very happy. So I appreciate that. And we're educating at the same time. So it's always good. Thanks for popping by.